uh, very smooth, but Amari probably would be the one that, that caught my attention the most. He just looked very natural, very smooth, um, especially with the Ray Ray situation. He got a lot of rep today. Chase Price didn't come in until July. Can he make this a, a four-man a four race? You know, that's that's something that we're anxious to see. Uh, it just depends on how fast he can process it. Uh, from my perspective, when I saw him go in there, he didn't look overwhelmed. But again, that's day one. And we already have seven days in a row of installation plans. So we'll see. And then after we finish those seven days, we'll regroup and we'll probably have two more days of installation throughout the course of camp. So really, it's just a turn on how fast he can process it and can he bridge that gap that, like you said, in the summer, those guys were here in the spring, they were here in the summer. So they had that time to go through it. Now this is their second time through, and this is just his first. With Trevor Lawrence, David Thomas sitting in their financial aid agreement, how big is it for y'all to have them locked down? You know, it's 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 a comforting as a as a recruiter. I know for those guys that are recruiting them, but still, we got to recruit those guys as if they haven't signed, uh, because again, it's still a long way till signing day. But but that just shows the commitment on our part to them, and that also shows the commitment, you know, on their part that they're committed to us. And so now, uh, with the dead period, we'll continue to recruit them hard within the rules. Uh, but now it's really a time for us to focus on what we got here, and then once we get back into September, we'll have those guys back on campus and, and continue looking for the program. Now, now that you can talk about him, Brendan Galloway is another guy that submitted his uh, FAA. What, have you, what did you see from him that caused you guys to offer him? You know, it just reminds you a lot of, of Jordan Langan in high school, just that big athletic guy uh, still trying to, to figure out his body, but he can run, he can catch. And if you've seen him here lately, I mean, he looks he looks the part. Uh, he looks like he's a little bit more physically developed than, than where Jordan was when he was coming out of high school. He's already 235 pounds, I think. And so he gives you that that that, that matchup nightmare at that position because he's going to be big enough and physical enough to be in the box, but then he's going to split out as a wide and he's going to create that matchup, not just on, on linebackers, but he's going to create that matchup on safety. You guys obviously have the number one quarterback from 2017 out here competing for a job. And how much of when you talk to Trevor, his willingness to kind of say, I don't, I don't care if there's already a number one court, quarterback recruit here. I'm, I want to go there anyway. I'm, does that kind of tell you something about the you guy? Know, as those, well? those are conversations that Coach Streeter you know, has because he's, the, he's the, the primary recruiter and his position coach. But that just says that that, that competition is, is, is what he's looking for. Yeah. Competition brings out the best in everybody. And it's the same thing you know, with Hunter here. You know, he's not worried about a guy that's not here because he knows that there's guys on this practice field that he's got to compete with. But I think that's what's really elevated our, our program to the level that it's at is the competition that they have every single day on this practice field.